Alright friends, listen up, because what I'm about to tell you will absolutely change your entire perspective of Total War Attila's campaigns and modding scene. I've come across something as rare as what I would call a secret hive of seriously amazing Attila mods that will completely blow your mind. I was going about my business as I usually do with my very important work, which obviously means checking the Attila Steam Workshop for new and exciting mods, when I came across something quite interesting indeed a certain mod called Rome Era Chapters. At first glance, I didn't really know what this was. The pictures aren't necessarily the clearest, and there's a whole lot of text underneath. But what caught my eye was the name, Vi Victis, from the second foundation of Rome to the first Punic War. This is not Rome 2, I thought, and this is certainly not the Attila Grand Campaign map. What I had happened upon and stumbled into like Alice in Wonderland? was a total conversion mod of the last Roman campaign, which takes this massive map of Italia, North Africa, Gaul and Iberia, turns back time about 800 years, into a new campaign of Rome's early days. Suddenly I'm playing as the consuls of Rome, as an ally of the Republic itself, smack down in its early formative years, just trying to make an honest living conquering and pillaging. And this is not taking place on the Grand Campaign map at all, but on the massive and focused map of the last Roman, meaning we have ample space to expand and thrive. That's not all of course, there's a slew of other factions just waiting to be explored here. Among them the much larger, much more powerful Carthaginian Empire, which already on the first turn begins at war with the city-state of Syracuse over the island of Sicily. What we have here then, is a mod which suddenly allows me to play a completely different time period in a vast ancient world. And even though the East isn't really on this campaign at all, the Romans did after all expand in the Western Mediterranean area first. And because the last Roman map is so large, and your enemies so many, this is a challenging and fun campaign indeed. But that's not all. This mod was called Rome Era Chapters after all. So was there more? Absolutely there was. And not long after, I found a mod that, if possible, felt just as unique, namely Chapter 2.1. Alia Yakta Est. This mod does what Caesar in Gaul should have done, and once again puts us on the massive map of the last Roman, but fast forwards to about 58 BC, when Caesar is about to enter Gaul and do his thing. Let me say that again. Not only do we have Gaul here, where the first part of the campaign will take place, but we have the entirety of the Western Mediterranean, including all of Italy and Illyria. This means that instead of an extremely narrow campaign, we can now take Caesar into Gaul and back again, pitting him against Rome itself and begin his civil war. And how is this enabled? Well, just like our consuls in Via Victis, Caesar is an expedition faction, meaning he functions like a horde, with a military camp lifestyle and everything. We begin with two armies and quite a hefty purse, but this you will need. You see, there is a lot of barbarians out there, powerful ones at that. In addition, Caesar himself is at the start of the game arguably the least powerful Roman faction here, of which there are three. You see, Caesar is allied to Caesar's proconsulship, a large Roman faction in northern Italy, Illyria, and southern Gaul. But the proconsulship is again allied to Pompey's Rome, the most powerful faction of them all, as Pompey controls not only all of Italy south of the Po, but virtually the entirety of Iberia, Carthage, and parts of the Balkans. In essence then, the campaign is meant to simulate Caesar's victory in Gaul and the subsequent standoff with Pompey, making this a two-part campaign of first medium, then hard difficulty. And I absolutely love it. Yet another last Roman-based campaign is the Emperor Majorian campaign. This campaign is almost like the opposite of the Caesar one, as we now begin with controlling all of Italy from north to south, including parts of Gaul and parts of Dalmatia. Majorian oversaw the last attempts of the Western Roman Empire to restore its old borders. And now, you have the chance to do it with him. Contrary to the prior campaigns, this one sees you begin as a massive power, yet one with challenges at every side. Public order, incoming barbarian hordes, and an empire torn in parts will demand everything from you, especially since the barbarians are already inside your borders. But there's more. Rome era chapters takes the age of Charlemagne campaign into the time of the civil war between the Carolingian factions. Large Frankian factions are vying for power here, along with their allies and vassals. Even the Byzantines are playable here in the form of the theme of Sicily. 
If we also remember to make use of the excellent Unimods from Anno Domini, which have been made compatible, this translates into an immersive and challenging campaign. We are either up against the massive kingdom of Lothair I, or fighting a slew of minor but powerful Frankish kingdoms. If you're now thinking, wait, haven't I seen this campaign before? You'd be wrong but not too far off. The Age of Charlemagne mod Age of Vikings takes place a few decades later with the arrival of the Vikings, and after the Frankish kingdoms have been firmly established in the East and the West. In other words, Rome Era Chapter 16 is a different, but a perhaps more chaotic campaign, although in the best sense. These are just a few ways Rome Era Chapters aims to bring completely new life to Attila's focused and massive DLC campaign maps. But Rome Era Chapters has much more in store for the Grand Campaign as well. Remember Empire Divided in Rome 2? A campaign I personally felt should have been an expansion for Attila due to the Governor and Horde system? Well, look no further than Rome Era Chapter V2, Aurelian and the Crisis of the 3rd Century. This is it, my friends, the Empire Divided campaign remade for Attila's Grand Campaign map, just like Empire Divided was made for Rome 2's. This time though, our campaign might be even more intense than before. Rather than having Aurelian's empire itself be divided among his vassals, Aurelian now properly controls its entirety, spanning the east and the south, from Mauritania to Egypt, and from Anatolia to Illyria. That does not mean this campaign will be easy, however. First of all, Roman Palmyra sits in Palestine, already at war with us. But what's more, Roman Italy is hostile, controlling our ancient capital and all of the Italian peninsula itself. And what's worse, Roman Gaul is unified all over the West, creating arguably the largest faction in the game. But there are even more horrors in the horizon here, and it's maybe the coolest one. Barbarian factions that were on the move during this time period are actual horde factions now. This means that many of them have no settled lands, but are armies on the move. You might offer them lands to settle in your empire, or they might raid or attack you as they move, meaning they're both unreliable and dangerous to say the least. In other words, this version of the Empire Divided campaign offers both massive empires and tiny but dangerous horde factions, and on all sides of the map, in a campaign so dynamic you might never have seen the likes of it before. And just like with the DLC campaigns, the Grand Campaign has several other overhauls in store, like the campaign of the Tetrarchy, which, like the period from whence the name derives, sees Rome split into four various parts on every side of the Mediterranean. What's especially interesting with this one is that we get to play as Emperor Constantine in his relatively early days, when he was in fact in control of the mighty Roman Empire in the West, and attempt to do what he did, which is to say also take control of the Eastern parts and unify it once more. There are seriously 16 parts to this mod, 16 chapters dedicated to the various eras of Roman history, beginning with Vi Victors around 4th century BC and ending in the 9th century, making Rome era chapters one of the most ambitious and diverse mod projects for any Total War ever as far as I'm aware. Now, there are two things I need to make clear. First, Rome era chapters is not finished. No individual chapter has been completely redone with new technologies, faction maps and descriptions on the selection menu, or new missions for example. Parts of this might be true for some campaigns, like certain scripted events and the like, but the polish and depth is yet to come here, despite the campaigns being fully playable. Second, Rome Era Chapters, because of various mod licensing issues between games and mods, is somewhat of a pain to install correctly. You essentially need more than just the main mod to download, and the instruction page can be hard to understand. That being said, there is help to receive on the mod's Discord, so make sure you head there if you need any help. I think this reason is the main reason for this mod series not being as famous as I believe it has the right to be. Despite these bumps in the road though, the mods are completely playable if what you seek are these new time periods and the sandbox flavor. And as long as you can accept having some weird anachronistic tech research happening, then I believe you'll have an absolute blast playing through these campaigns which, again, are so varied and so many. What makes it even better is that these mods are compatible with and borrow the units from the Rome HD mod for Rome 2 and those from Anno Domini, meaning every campaign feels the units you know and love from those time periods. There's even a population and war awareness mod for all of these eras, enhancing the depth even further. I wish all the best for Rome era chapters, I'm so excited to see each campaign expand and become even deeper, but most of all, I'd wish this thing was made easier to install for the masses, this is something you really need to experience yourself.
This is just one of many mods showcasing the massive potential of the Attila modding scene. And again, I wish them the absolute best. If you enjoyed this video and think these mods look awesome, let me know in the comments below. And remember to sub to the channel and consider supporting me on Patreon or here on YouTube if you want to see more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers.